Hi, I'm Cindy Abbott Leitro for Behind the Camera. Tonight we're at the North Park Theater on Hurdle Avenue for the private screening for cast and crew of William Fichtner's Cold Brook. We're going to hear what the cast and crew had to say about their experience on this film. Well, uh, Bill always uh, <laughs> definitely uh, let everybody know that they were part of the journey. Everyone was part of the journey. Everyone who came on, he made uh, he made sure that they felt like they were part of the family and uh, they were on this ride with him. And uh, like you said, it was uh, you know it's Bill's dream. You know he's been uh, going down to the Portland for his whole life. You know these are his best friends that the movie's based off of, and um, you could really feel that throughout the film. It was great. It was felt. It definitely felt um, a little more homey. You know, I, everyone was very aware of that. The you know the bills. I mean, Bill's a big Buffalo booster, so it definitely, it definitely pulled us together in an interesting way. Yeah. I said I want to be an investor, but I didn't have the money to invest. I said, but if you ever get it off the ground, I'll do all the catering. I'll feed everybody. That'll be my contribution. So. Uh, himself and Kim Coates came to me when they were ready to film and said, is your offer still good? And I thought they were kidding. I said, uh, yeah, sure. And lo and behold, he says, you're the, you're the caterer for the movie. I had no clue what I was doing. I Googled, thank God for Google, because I Googled movie catering and all the different things you needed to know. And uh, I flew off the seat of my pants and it worked out great. We've been getting tons of offers from other movie sets they come here and film now, so must have worked out pretty good. I, I've known Billy since we first started out, both from Buffalo. We met through um, mutual friends, and we've known each other forever. So he called me and said, listen, I have this script. I want you to read it and tell me what you think. And he sent it to me, and I said, I love it. I think it's a beautiful film. Um, he said, do you want to play the county clerk? And I said, I'd love it. I'd love to play the county clerk. And he said, I have some ideas for the characters. I said, you let me know how you want me to play it. Um, it you know, the guy could be a million different ways. So we discussed it and we made him into kind of a little bit of an eccentric. And um, it was a great experience. And I was, I, my, one of my dreams was to do a film in my hometown and, uh, Billy made the dream come true, so here I, you know, here I, here I was. I'd like to do another couple of films here. It was great working here. This project was real special because uh, well before I was what I would consider a working actor, Bill was one of my heroes because he's a hometown guy who's made it big. So, you know, it gives you a, a target as a, as a beginning actor coming up. So as soon as I heard Bill was writing, producing, directing a film back home, I got a hold of Frank Rossi right away and said, hey, dude, I will take a one-line role in that movie. So I auditioned for a larger role that I didn't get. And uh, when I got in, I was in town shooting another film with uh, Fred and Chris Olin Ray, who have done many films here in Buffalo. And I told Frank, hey, I'm in town. If there's any, and he's like, come on in. I got a role that you could read for. And even in the, even in the audition room, Mr. Fickner was there, which is really, really rare. And you knew right then that the film had a, a higher level of intimacy um, in a positive way than you would normally get in, in a typical film out in LA or New York. Bill and I met uh, four or five years ago when he came to me to talk about a tax credit and trying to do something for Upstate because it was his dream to shoot a movie in his, in his hometown. And we were able to uh, make it become a reality with an enhanced tax credit for Upstate, for Western New York, so that we can compete with New York City and other places across the country. And we've done it. Our film commissioner, Tim Clark's done a great job. Tonight's a really exciting night, though. But it's so interesting that and appropriate that we're here together. It was Bill's idea in the first place, came to us, we met, and we were able to make it work. And now we're, we're thrilled for Bill, thrilled for Western New York. Bill brings a lot back to the area when he comes back here. Um, you know, he's a huge international film star uh, that has the connections and has the opportunities uh, to, to do things like this movie and, and use this area uh, as a, uh, you know, as an 
a foreground for, uh, for the motion picture industry. Uh, working with Bill was great. He, um, he definitely makes everybody feel a part of the crew and a part of the story. And, you know, you could tell that this film was so important to him and it made it so important to all of us because we saw that vision and, you know, we were just felt very lucky to be a part of it. He did a great job directing this film. He's wonderful in it as an actor, but he did a great job directing this film. So there were two short scenes, but the second scene changes the course of the movie. So it's a really important scene. And it's not like I had a huge amount to do in the film, but the, the scenes were really important. So we were able to discuss it and I wanted to try a few things and we tried a few things. And um, I was really, I have a hard time watching myself. I don't really enjoy it particularly. I really enjoyed what I saw, it, even my own performances. So it's, it's a, I think you're gonna enjoy the film. Um, it, it really is, it's historical. It's heartfelt. You'll learn something. Uh, across the board, the acting is wonderful. I mean, all the people from Buffalo in it, it was great. So he's producing, directing, writing, and the lead actor. And so he's got a million things that he's got to be tapping into, but he still took the time. I watched him do it with other actors too. Anybody had a question? He'd just take you aside and be like, yeah, so here's what's going on here. You know, because when you come in for a, a day player role, you don't have maybe the big picture. And so he fill you in, get you up to speed, uh, run it a couple times if you wanted to, and uh, it's, he's a real giving actor. Personally, I think it's a great film. It's something that everybody can enjoy. You can bring your kids to it. You know, there's no there's no skin in it. There's no sex. There's very little violence. There's no guns. So it's it's a feel good movie for a change. It's something you go and you leave and say, hey, you know what? That was kind of neat how they did that, and it's just a feel good movie. You know, it's it's great that we have people like Bill that uh, you know, our, our local people that you know, have an appreciation for Buffalo and, and bring these opportunities back here. Uh, but as you, as you can see from the large number of films that have been done here uh, over the past few years, the film industry in Buffalo has really taken off. Uh, we've got some, you know, some great facilities along with some opportuni great opportunities for on-location shooting. Um, it's been a great, op great opportunity uh, for a lot of union, union level jobs, uh, and, uh, you know, for our community. Western New York has done particularly well because of the Film Commission, the Film Commissioner Tim Clark, the support of the Mayor's Office, the support of the County Executive and, and all the local businesses and, and others who play a role in uh, trying to make this a reality in Western New York. Several years ago, we couldn't support films like this. We couldn't support the industry. Now we have people that do this full time and make a living in film in Western New York and it's a wonderful thing and we're much further ahead than the rest of the state. As you can tell, filming Coldbrook right here in Western New York was a great experience for all involved. For Behind the Camera, I'm Cindy Abbott-Leitro.